I was just your, your normal New Zealand boy, you know, I sort of said um, All Blacks and then Mum and Dad when I was growing up. Becoming an All Black, um, especially for the first two years, was just a great ride. And then uh, it got a little bit more complicated. If you look from the outside, what would I have to be depressed about? I was in this scary place thinking that, you know, I was seriously um, losing my mind. He's really shown what you can do if you stand up and talk about difficult subjects, um, talk about your story and how you managed to get through depression. I think he did a fantastic job of conveying that message that you know, depression is an illness, it's not a weakness, and that uh, you know, it's important to seek help, it's a strong thing to do. I, th I think it was probably the hardest decision I've ever made because I thought I'd be throwing away a career and that I'd lose my reputation. It was pretty simple in the end because I, if I could have helped one person that was in my situation, it was all worth it because when you're in there, uh, you know, you just don't wish it on your worst enemy. That was the motivation and retrospectively it's been one of the best things I've done. I remember working with a very young person who talked about how feeling he was able to come and see me and talk about his fears and anxiety because JK had it and JK had said it was okay to do this. He's worked really hard, he's made a big difference, you know, he's saved lives, there's no, no question about that. You know, we shouldn't have one of the highest suicide rates in the world, we live in paradise. So that's why you can really identify it as an illness, not a you know, because if we've got a beautiful country, then why, why are they so out of line? So, you know, I think we've, we've just got to keep working really hard on the awareness, the education. There's so much more to do. I feel as if we're only just started.